Well, YouTube, good morning. Welcome back to another video. At the front door this time. We're gonna do a workout, uh, not at the gym, but right here in our front patio. Uh, we don't utilize the space that often, so you know, we said while the, the sun is out, there are really black clouds over there, so hopefully uh, it doesn't rain, but yeah, we're like, why not do a workout in the sun? Uh, got yeah, a brand new... 30 degree heat, it's yeah, a great idea. Yeah, sweat a bit. Got a brand new yoga mat as well, so I get to use this, but... <sighs> okay, you ready to get started? This is not going to be fun in this heat, but... It's any quick one, right? Yeah, it is. It's just a, a quick blitz. Okay. All right, let's, let's, get, let's get it going. It was good. We um, the sun is kind of going in a little bit. A really dark cloud there. But did you enjoy that? The uh, skipping at the end was Katie's idea. We should so, be doing. Oh, well, I should be doing at least 100 skips a day. So we did 100 each there as well. But good job. That was nice. Now we're gonna make a smoothie. And uh, yeah, <sighs> exhausted. Right, so I have two more frames that I'm spraying because I got two more prints and we've decided where we're gonna put all three of them now. So, making use of the sunny weather, these will be dry in absolutely no time. I resprayed that too. So, Katie did this, which I thought was fantastic. She considers herself not an arty kind of person, but I really liked it, so I framed it for her. And again, this was a black frame, so I thought while well, I was spraying these, spray this white, because I think it looks much better with the white frame. Yeah, she'll be surprised when she sees that later. Good surprise. And now for the moment of magic. They look good. So they are a little low. It's proportional to the couch. So ideally I would have loved if I could have had five inches between each, but space is a bit of a weird layout from where the couch is. I just think it would have looked weird if it was done for the wall instead of the couch. And it's low because there was a power socket and two cover plates there. I tried it above, it didn't look great. So I was like, let me just cover it up. It up the whole wall. I just have to tidy this little bit up. I'm really happy with how they turned out. And it's better than just a blank wall. Well, that's the end of that palm tree. It was struggling to regrow. A tropical storm last season just came through and kind of destroyed all the shrubs, the palm trees and all that. Uh, during COVID as well, the landscapers, they weren't really allowed on site for I think three to four weeks, if not, could have been longer. And a lot of the shrubs and all that died then. So it was on its way out. It's been dead for the last couple of months and it's tried its best to regrow, but I think uh, they're, Decision to chop it down, probably the right one. Whether they're gonna replant another one or not, I don't know, but it's nice and clear now out there, so that's good. I'm, I'm all in favor. Ah, oh, well, would you look at that? A new day, a new fire. And that right there is the dump. That smoke's extremely black, so God only knows what's burning, but I've, I've noticed in recent that they're covering the dump in its entirety with sand and I think they're actually going to be exporting the majority of it off to get incinerated although it looks like they're just incinerating it right now it was nearly the same time last year uh, we were coming back from New York and the dump fire the dump fire actually started in January last year and they temporarily put it out it was still smoldering but it, it reignited and it burnt on weeks I think it was the 9th of March. I'll find some photos and I'll just overla overlap them here when we were actually flying back uh, on the plane. You could see all the smoke out to sea. So all the schools and like Kamana Bay, I think they were all evacuated because the toxins, uh, it's not good for your lungs. Probably the same again. All right, so just finished up. Uh, I was doing a couple shoots on some of the beaches just here on South Sound. Um, I am busy working on a project that will probably take me about a month or so to complete, so 
today was the first day of shooting on that and uh, I can't reveal exactly what it is just yet but stay tuned because it will be coming to the channel so I'm gonna need this because here at the airport uh, I am getting my first vaccination for this COVID Okay, so that was the first dose done, complete. Uh, what did you think of it? It wasn't as bad as I thought. I was just going, I was terrified. Yeah, it was fine. Uh, just a quick little, quick little prick. Um, so it's here at the airport, <laughs> just where you check in for your flight, and where you bring your bags and all. So um, good little system that they have. Um, it was so efficient, actually. Yeah, it was. For Cayman as well. Yeah, for Cayman, extremely efficient. And uh, we return on April 16th for our second dose. So, fingers crossed there's no issues between now and then. Oh, my arm is sore actually. About a month and a half ago, Katie got her... You'd say the story. No. Is camera shy? Yeah. I'm always camera shy, isn't that lovely? Uh, she got... Uh, another piercing on her ears, uh, just above her original ones, yeah. because the holes are what, too big. Yeah, <laughs> you have to tell everybody. And uh, some of her earrings fall out, so the earrings I got for her the last time uh, were just afraid that they might fall through, so just went and got them pierced. And we're just heading back now for him to change it. I mean, I guess you could have done it yourself, but he said yeah, to come back. I've done it myself, but he wants yeah. to come back. He was adamant that you have to come back. He was very meticulous with his work. He took a lot of pride in his piercings and all that kind of stuff. So I guess we'll just we'll just go get them done. I think we can cross over. I'm not allowed to film in there, so I guess we'll see you when we are finished. Okay, all done and dusted. In five minutes, what do you think? I can't even, my arm is safe. Uh, yeah. 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 Look really nice. So, are you able to take them out? Yeah. Uh, hopefully these don't fall out and land at the bottom of the ocean or something. Okay, we now are gonna quickly go grab a bite to eat and then we're gonna head up to the Kimpton and just meet a couple of friends up there, spend uh, the afternoon on the beach or by the pool and then we'll probably go for dinner with them just at Coca Loba, which is the restaurant at the Kimpton as well. So the water looks extremely flat today. Yeah, I think I want to do the beach over the pool. Yeah. So it may have to be the beach over the pool. We should see. Plenty, plenty of time to decide. Shay, we're on the run. This is what we waited for. video. Uh, might be a little delayed going up, but still make uh, the Sunday deadline. Anyway, uh, really good day today. Had a lot of fun. Uh, can't wait to just get this finished so I can head off to bed. But I want to thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please consider doing so because you know I'd love to see you here again. Um, very short video this week, very short, but if you did like it, uh, please do leave a thumbs up because that really does help the YouTube algorithm. And until next week, I mean, I guess I'll see you then. Cheers! Our really black hat. There are really black hat. <laughs> there are really black hat. <laughs> do you need help?